a versatile dish that has endless recipes and flavours to it, cooked by multicultural ethnicity to suit each and everyone's palate. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's all about chicken curry. Let's begin by cutting up some baby potatoes. Then set them aside. In today's curry, I'm using some boneless chicken thighs. Cut them up into smaller pieces and place it in a large bowl. Season the chicken thighs with salt and leave it for about an hour with cling film on while we get the curry paste going, which consists of cumin, roasted balachan, fennel, star anise, cinnamon stick, candle nuts, curry leaves, meat curry powder, rehydrated dried chilies, fresh turmeric, ginger, garlic, red shallots, red chilies, lemongrass, and galangal. Now let's blend all the ingredients up into a paste. You can do this bit by bit if you don't have a large food processor. Make sure to blend everything thoroughly. Once all the ingredients has turned into a texture like this, heat up the pot with a generous amount of oil. When the temperature of the oil reaches to about 160 degrees Celsius, slowly scoop in the paste. Give it a gentle and thorough stir so that the paste doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. Then add in the meat curry powder. Continue to cook the paste for about 13 to 15 minutes until you can smell the aroma of the beautiful spices and ingredients. The curry paste will eventually change into a nice mahogany brown colour as we cook it. And when it reaches to a texture like this, remove it from the pot onto a plate. Next, let's heat up some oil to sear the chicken thighs. Place them onto the pan with its skin side down first. Sear them for about a minute and a half until the skin changes into a nice golden brown colour. Then flip them over to continue searing the other side. After that, Let's add in the curry paste and give it a good stir. Pop in the red chilies, star anise, cinnamon stick and curry leaves. What I love about this dish is the fragrance of the curry leaves is just absolutely gorgeous. Now let's go in with the baby potatoes, followed by the chicken stock.
give everything a good stir. Then add in the chicken powder, salt and sugar. Add in the coconut milk when the curry comes to a boil. I love my curries with coriander flavour, so I'm going to quickly chop up some coriander stalks and chuck it into the curry. Give the chicken curry a good last stir, bring it to boil, and this wonderful dish is ready to be served hot straight from the pan. If I've made this video enjoyable to watch, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. So I shall see you all on my next video. Time to try these lovely succulent chicken thighs coated with a luxurious curry sauce. Mmm, this tastes really, really, really good. See you guys. Bye-bye.